Hi everybody, this is ECE 109, Introduction to Electrical Engineering, Lecture Note 1. In this lecture note, we're gonna give you some introduction about the electrical circuits, some examples. We're gonna talk about the charge and currents. Later, we're gonna talk about the power and energy. Um, basic way to represent the electrical circuit. Electrical circuit is an interconnection of element electrical elements. As an introduction, an electrical circuit is an interconnection of electrical element. The basic circuit elements power supply which is battery generator alternator I give example right there load devices can be resistor lamp motor winding whatever you have it shows right there example conductors which is the connection between the elements shows which is called wiring too also we may have some uh, production or one production device as a fuse and we may have some control which is basically a switch relay or transistor it's right there it's another example given in this section in this right figure too also in this example we have a, a voltage source here 12 volts we have a load element which is resistance resistor which is two ohms and uh, we have switch we have fuse and we have a uh, connection wiring uh, if you want to find the um, current using ohm laws V over R 12 divided by 2 is give you 6 ampere we can find the, uh, the current on the circuit there is another example in on the right side in this case we have two a lot elements it's two lights maybe okay. in this case if we want to find the um, current current will be equal V over R1 plus R2 easily we can find two also uh, let's give um, a couple of uh, a circuit on this slide we have three different uh, uh, circuits electrical circuit first circuit shows a different electrical components connected together such as resistors uh, um, then capacitors you can see some capacitors diodes and uh, transistors you can see it here the second circuit is here as a PC board it has some chips and many small components such as resistor capacitor on it okay the third one under here is an electric circuit for home or office lights. It has lights, switches, and wiring. Basically, those are simple electrical circuits. Charge and current. Charge is an electrical property of the atomic particles of which matter consists measure in columns. So, one column of charge, there are one over 1.602 times 10 power negative 19 which is equal 6.24 times 10 power 18 electrons on it so it's practical way to represent the columns maybe we can show them as a pico columns which is 10 power negative 12 a nano column which is 10 power negative 9 columns micro which is 10 power negative 16 or another one we can maybe show as a, a milli columns which is 10 power negative 3 okay um, if we know the charge we may find the current current is defined uh, as the time rate of the change of the charge basically uh, so in this case that's why we give the current as Q divided by T. Uh, the units of the current is an ampere. If the charge changing by time, we may need to give the current as an I of T. In this case, we take the derivation of the 
uh, charge by depends on the t that's why we have the qt of dt and again one ampere will be equal one columns per second uh, um, if we know the current maybe we can find charge too the others if we know the current take the integration of current from the limits from t0 to t1 to obtain the uh, charge that's another way you find the charge too also uh, in this slide we will give uh, some examples first let's calculate the amount of charge represented by the 10 million protons so the charge will be equal to 10 million protons time 1.602 times 10 power negative 19 electrons this way it's give you 1.606 pico uh, columns a second example uh, we will give you the charge for t greater than equal uh, zero and we're gonna find the uh, current in this case the because of the ch charge changing by time we take we need to take the derivation of the uh, charge to find the current that's why it's equal dv uh, qt over dt so taking the um, charge uh, derivation uh, constant goes out the inside of this one derivation will be equal negative then negative positive 100 times e power negative 100 and if we simplify this one it will be equal 4 times e power 100 t and we we'll try to uh, plot them to see the difference when we see here q the charge starting from zero all the way goes to maximum value of 0 0.04 there if you look at the current current start from four goes all the way to zero so if charge is constant then current will be getting zero in this case here uh, next slide uh, we do opposite we give the current as a sign form 2 sine 2 pi 100 t milliampere for t greater than equal 0 then we're gonna find the uh, charge and also uh, we're gonna say how we can find the charge at t equal 2 milliseconds um, we need to take the integral of this one here starting from the limit starting from 0 to t so we can see how it's changing with the time so this is the uh, current i of t times dt sine integral is equal here 1 over 2 uh, 1 over 2 pi 100 times sine will be negative cosine 1 uh, 2 pi 100 t so we have the limits here we're gonna put the t, uh, t and 0 the simplification of this equation will be equal here 3.18 1 minus cosine 2 pi 100 t milli columns uh, I would like to see them as a visual that's why we plot the current first current start from zero goes away all the way to then go to uh, also uh, negative to uh, uh, changing by time the sinusoidal way when we find the Q here then when we plot them you see cur uh, uh, charge start from zero goes away almost maybe five then it goes to again zero never go to negative value if you're gonna find the t equal two milliseconds later to charge at two milliseconds we just need to put in this equation t equal two milliseconds that's why we put there two milliseconds in this case you will see here 2.19 milli columns given to you <coughs> uh, next term is power power is the time of expanding or observing energy which is measured in watts so p will be equal d uh, w divided by dt derivation of the energy w is is the energy here p is the power measured as watts w is the energy measured as joule and t is the time as a seconds we can represent the power in another way here dv dw over dq times dq over d2 uh, dt here so first term give you voltage second terms give you 
current. That's why V times E. And common way that we know the power equal voltage time current. Uh, but we need to also mention that if the current enters through the positive terminals of the element, we find that power as positive. As shown in this figure here, the current enter the positive terminal. That's why we find the power as positive here. The other way, if the current enters from negative side of the terminal, which is going, you see this way here, in this case, we're going to find the, a negative power. Okay. Um, next slide, we show that if the voltage and current change by the time, so time variable, then power will be time variable. That's why we need to call this case instantaneous power. So P of T will be equal V of T times I of T. V of T is the voltage, I of T is the current. Okay? The other two terms here, in the any electric circuits, the power observed will be equal negative power supplied, which means the sum of the power in this circuit should be equal zero. So whatever observed should be supplied that much too. Also. Uh, next term is here the energy. So energy basically can find uh, from the power. So energy is the capacity of the work and measured as a joules. So W is the um, energy take the integral of uh, the power to find the energy from limit t0 to t1 or 0 to t basically here and also we know the power will be equal v of t times i of t voltage and current too also that's why you can find it but in electric power utility companies measure the um, energy as not joule usually they mention about the one watt hour one watt hour represent by 60 minutes times 60 seconds, which is 3,600 joules. Let's give uh, some examples. The example here, first example, we give V of T, voltage 50 sine 2 pi 50 T. We give uh, the current as 2 sine 2 pi 50 T, both of them will change by time. So we're going to find the power, which is instantaneous power, over the over the elements, over the elements right here. So the current you see right enter the positive side. That's why we're gonna find the positive here. So V of T I of T 50 sine 2 pi 50 t, 50 t times 2 sine 2 pi 50 t. That will be 100 sine square 2 pi 50 t. To represent sine square, basically. Uh, sine x sine square x will be equal 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 what is it cosine 2x that's why we represent this way here uh, to show the frequency of the signal which is 100 changing 50 change to 100 and also never goes to uh, negative value so we we'll plot this power you can see 0 to 100 and going up and down here since we're all way if you say I want to find the power over the source here, this is the way current enter here, negative side. That's why it's going to be the same thing, but only negative in this case. We can give two more examples. These examples are basically our life. For example, if you have a 75 watts light bulb in two hours, how much energy is spending? That's why we can say P times T here, 75 watts times 2 hours times 60 minutes times 60. That will give 540 kilojoules. Or if you're going to find as a watt hour, you're going to say 75 times 2 hours, which is equal 150 watts hour, basically. Another example here, in this case here, uh, elect the, uh, electric stove draws 15 amperes. And we have the voltage 110 volts. How long does it take to consume 160 kilojoules? 
in this case here so we know the ampere we know the voltage only we don't know the times here will be equal 165 in this case when you find time it's give you 100 seconds to spend to consume 165 kilojoules this is end of the this first lecture uh, we will give some examples uh, in the class and